Uh, my name is Will Kalita. I've met, I think, a lot of you this week. Uh, this week, sorry, short conference this weekend. Um, there was going to be a talk uh, by Code Sections, Daniel, uh, which isn't 100% overlap with this. I think it was more from what the steering committee was working on over the next year. And I'm going to tell you, uh, I think, what we're going to be able to deliver with the language uh, this year. So just slightly different. Um, so 6E, uh, we don't have a specific release date. I, am ho I, I think we'll be able to get it out this year. Uh, and just to be clear, it's the language specification. So this is a little different than on the, the Perl side. So we're going to release a version of the spec. The compiler is coming out every month. And you can already run a bunch of this stuff in the current version of the compiler. You just say use the, uh, I have it on the next slide, uh, use 6E preview. And that will get you anything that's already available uh, that's been written in the compiler. So we're not going to drop everything all at once later in the year. You can, you can load it and play with it now. This also gives you the ability to stick with the older version of the language if you want. Uh, if you don't say anything, you get whatever the default is. The default changes occasionally. If you pick a language version, you get that. And aside from Robert's problem that I was working on most of the day today, uh, that should work uh, to keep you in place. We also have a way to like change parts of objects uh, and have like a new method be in the new language, but not the old language. Uh, so that basically there's, right now there's, there's one compiler with multiple languages. Um, the biggest thing that's going to be in the, in this release is a version of uh, abstract syntax trees. And it's going to be part of the language specification. Right now, there are some syntax uh, trees that we're building. They're all ad hoc implementation details. We tell people not to look at them. Uh, these are going to be, yeah, we, these, these will be user facing. Um, uh, you'll be able to write code this way. This is going to be a good base uh, for redoing macros. Uh, the, what else do we have up here? Uh, it's going to replace the, the current uh, mainline grammar. So that will go away. And at some point, uh, all of the code will be going through this. Before we can make that the main release, we have to work a little bit on performance here. Um, we have to do an API review. Uh, and we're going to test the entire ecosystem. We were just talking about t uh, test. We're going to test the entire ecosystem of modules against uh, this new setup. Um, if you want to play with it right now, uh, you can get at it via an environment variable. Uh, there's an experimental feature you can turn on. But even without any of that, you can run that in the compiler today. Uh, you can see we've got, this is basically like an eval. There's a little bit of code there, say foo. It's quoted, and then we say, give me the abstract, abstract syntax tree out of that. And you get uh, this wonderful uh, list of processes, uh, which I had to reformat to fit on the slide. Sorry. Um, other things that are going to be in, uh, localization support. Um, this, there is some support that is already in core for this right now. Uh, and there are, I think, about 10 modules that uh, provide this. This is the uh, Netherlands, the Dutch version. Uh, so when you install it, you get an executable that you can run. And the default language for Rapu in that executable is Dutch. So. That's, I, I ran that on my laptop to, to, to cut and paste it and put it in here. Uh, all of the commands are localized. So it's a way for folks who are just getting into a language. Like this might be very helpful for teaching a language to students who for English is not their first language. There are versions for uh, Japanese, Welsh, uh, Dutch, French. Oh, crap. Uh, that's OK. Rack, the AST was the biggest thing. I'll speed through everything else. Uh, there's going to be a new version of Rakudoc. You, uh, Pearl, you have Pod. This is an updated version of the spec. It's had a lot of feedback from Damien. Uh, so there's cooler features. Uh, most of this is already implemented. Uh, we will have Unicode 17, but only because we're, we're not really. So uh, this will drop in September. Um, and I mentioned there may be some language cleanup. Uh, since we're changing the language version, we have a chance to uh, make some decisions there. There's a bunch of non-language things that we're going to include. Uh, we're going to refresh the websites. Uh, there's a lot of historical data on here. We want this to be easy for people to jump into Raku and download and install it. 
There's going to be some updates to the docs to make it easier to have those that different version information uh, in the docs. Right now, it's in there, but it's ad hoc. Uh, an analyst is working on maybe automatic translations of the docs into those languages. Uh, better testing. Um, we we also do testing. Uh, yay. Uh, there's a bug fix for script wrappers. Great. Uh, contact information. If you're interested in any of this, want to find out more, uh, we're mostly on IRC. There's a Discord bridge. There's my email address. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it.